Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my go-to makeup look recently or like my everyday makeup look. I really haven't been using makeup as often as I used to, um, but if I do use makeup, this is the look that I go for. Keep in mind, I'm not using a foundation. I'm literally just using a concealer all over my face because I have not been in the mood for foundation these past few months. So yeah, so if you guys want to know how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to go in with some tinted moisturizer. This is the one from First Aid Beauty in the shade Medium. I like the overall finish that it leaves my skin, and I feel like a lot of um, tinted moisturizers, they tend to have like a really strong smell that lingers, like the one from Drunk Elephant lingers a lot, but this one isn't like that. Like, it's literally small as like a SPF, like a sunblock, but it doesn't... um. The smell doesn't linger anything. Next, I'm going to go in with some primer, and I'm just going to take the Milk Blur Stick Primer and put that all over my face. I like to go in with a more mattifying, blurring type of primer, just because I feel like it makes my makeup last longer. And because it's not heavy or anything either. I'm going to take some MAC um, Strobe Cream in the shade Gold Light, and with my finger, I'm going to put some on the highest points of my face. When it comes to like a very like an everyday type of makeup look, I want to make sure it's very skin focused and make sure my skin looks really nice and glowy and dewy since we're not doing anything with like eyeshadow and all of that. So just like put some with your finger. And I'm going to have a little bit of the highlighter left over. I'm probably going to add like one more drop of it. Like this much maybe. I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Warm Beige. And I'm going to put that on my face. So I'm using it as foundation. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. So I can mix it with the MAC um, Strobe Cream. I never do this step. I don't know why I'm doing it now. I guess I just want to see what it looks like. So like honestly it's just a lot easier to just rub the concealer all over the face. But... We're gonna try it this way. I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics number three brush. I don't use a beauty blender for this because when you're doing your makeup every day and you're in a rush, like the last thing you wanna do is wet your beauty blender, so. I pick my hair up. I feel like this always happens. Like I always try to pick my hair up and I pick it up like halfway through. I add a little bit more of the concealer. Concealer? the concealer under my eyes to conceal that a little bit more. Then we're gonna take a little bit more of the MAC Stroke Cream to reapply it because I really wanna make sure my skin is glowing. Take some of the Laura Mercier powder and I'm gonna set my under eyes. So I'm just gonna take this random, I think this is like a blush brush. I'm gonna, cause that's all I have like on hand, so. I'm just going to take this and make sure my under eyes are blended. And just set them. And then set my eyelid too because I got some oily lids. I'm going to take whatever leftover powder and just set my foundation concealer but I'm not gonna set this area right here because I don't want to mattify that. Take the um wet and wow take it to Brazil bronzer. Because we started putting powder I'm gonna spray my face with some of the Mario Badescu um facial sprays so it can melt into the skin a little bit more. Take the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna go into these two colors right here which is burnt orange and raw sienna. And I'm going to take a big fluffy crease brush and this is the JH30. I'm going to mix both of these together and then just blend it all over my lid. I'm going to like wing it out a little bit this way, like blending it outward. Now I'm going to take this dual ended brush from Eco Tools and I'm going to go into the color Cypress Umber and with the angle side I'm going to take some of that, like very little of it, and then just put it on the outer part of my eye and then focusing it here and then after with whatever product is left over I'm just going to do like a little wing and then with this side of it I'm going to blend it in so it won't look so harsh. 
I see how broken my palette is. Like, that's so bad. That's so funny. Um, this isn't necessarily, like, the fastest makeup look. It can be fast. Like, the more you practice it, the faster you'll be. Um, but this is more of, like, a I don't feel like wearing makeup type of makeup look. But I want to look like I'm put together type of makeup look. But it's not like a five minute makeup look, you know? I've been trying to do those and I can never, I'm never satisfied. <laughs> the JH38 brush, which is this really small blending pointed pencil brush, whatever. And I'm gonna go back into raw sienna and burnt orange and put that on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna connect it to the part that we winged out. Then I'm going to go into Primavera for the inner corner highlight. I'm just going to take the same brush. I'm going to use Primavera to highlight my cupid's bow as well. For blush, I'm going to take the color gold rush, um, warm golden nectar blush, I think that's what it's called, from Benefit. And I'm just gonna use the blush brush from Wet n Wild to do that, which is like this angled brush. Oh, it broke, cool. I have to glue that together. <laughs> it's on across my nose. Kind of everywhere. Some brow gel. And this is the one from Anastasia. Sometimes I'll do mascara, other times I won't do mascara. Today I'm not really in the mood for mascara, so I'm gonna try something. I know this might be dumb, but I'm gonna try it. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. Okay, so I just wanna try this out to see like if it works. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna take the brow gel and I'm gonna use this as mascara to kind of like hold my lashes up. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying this out. But if I do use a mascara, I'll use the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. But honestly, I don't think it's necessary to spend so much money on a mascara. I've never bought any high-end mascara that I've ever used on my channel. I've always gotten them in gratis. They're really good, don't get me wrong. I just don't really think it's necessary to spend $24 on a mascara when you can literally spend like $9 for something that does equally the same thing. So that's my opinion, honestly. So if you guys want to use any high-end mascaras, two that I recommend is the Too Faced... I just took you guys off. I'm so sorry. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is really good for volume. I, I use that more for dramatic looks. And then more for like an everyday, I use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara because it doesn't give my lashes too much volume. It just kind of lengthens them and curls them. So yeah. I take the Mario Badescu spray again just to um, refresh my face. I use this in my hair too sometimes. Now for my favorite lip combination, I've literally been wearing this lip combo for like the past three months. Like I have not stopped wearing it it's so bad. Either, like, just in general, this has been my makeup look every single time I do my makeup because I just haven't been in the mood to wear so much on my face. So this, in general, has been my go-to for the past three months. Like, I don't wear makeup as often as I used to, but when I do, it's literally just this. And I'm going to show you guys my favorite lip combination. Take the Dosa Colors um, Desi X Katie Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade My Mane. Love this. And I'm gonna go into the Morphe lip liner, and this is the color Sugar Pie. I'm gonna line my lips with this. And then I'm gonna take the over the top gloss, also from the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie collection. Okay, so this is basically everything I do for my everyday makeup routine. I know it's not the fastest makeup routine, but it's pretty much my go-to makeup look for the past i don't know how long remember i usually do use mascara for this but today i don't feel like wearing mascara mostly because i don't feel like taking it off 
because mascara is always like such a mission to take off but yeah so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one